Hi everybody, it's Suetta, the road trip lady. And I posted this past weekend that I was going to a little festival here in Tennessee um, that celebrated the moon pie. And I didn't realize how many inquiries I would get about what's a moon pie. They knew that it was something to eat, but they weren't quite sure what it was, what's it made of. And so here we have and the moon pies have been made in Chattanooga for about uh, for 100 years now. That's what they're celebrating. But anyway, this is the moon pie. That's the famous package right there. And so we have the chocolate. And they have banana. Banana. And then there was a salted caramel. But I, um, I did something. I cooked it a while ago. And I'm going to show you a little video clip of that in just a second. How we did that. But of course, I'm going to open it up, and what it is, it's like a couple of cookies put together, and this huge chunk of marshmallow cream in the middle, and then dipped in chocolate. So, if you love chocolate, or banana, or salted caramel, but you really, really, really like marshmallow or marshmallow cream, this might be something that you could become addicted to. Kind of like an inverted s'mores, only not hot. But that takes me to what I'm going to show you. At our house, my husband and grandchildren, they really like to cook the moon pies in the microwave. And so that's what I'm going to show you in just a second in the next clip. We took the salted caramel and I'm going to put it in the microwave and you're going to see what happens. You're just going to be addicted to it, I promise you. Oh, look at that. Look what happened. Oh, and good and warm. Oh my gosh. All right, look how soft it gets. <gasps> oh my gosh. That is going to just melt in your mouth. Look at that. Ooh. And today's road trip is a one day trip. And I am heading from my house to Bell Buckle, Tennessee, to the RC and Moon Pie Festival. It is the 100th anniversary of the Moon Pie, which is made down in Chattanooga. And if you don't know um, uh, what a Moon Pie is, I'll show you what that is when we get there. Um, it's a southern staple. Everybody's heard of it. And then RC is like a Coke or a pop to some of you folks. And um, But it's just made here in Tennessee as well. And so those they brought those two together to have a festival because most of the time you're going to see anybody that's got an RC, they probably got a moon pie with it. It's like the dessert of the South. About 30 years? I'm only 38 years. Oh my gosh, okay, and so how many, like, how much have you seen it increased over the years? Oh, a bunch. That's All right, nice. and what's your name? Bubba Summer. Bubba, There's, every town's got a Bubba. Hey y'all, 
I am in the middle of the town here in Balboco, and it appears that what is typically a little RV park has been turned into a, the area for all the craftsmen that come out for this year. And uh, it's pretty typical, you know, the things that they're, they're selling, but what's really unique is most of the vendors have been coming here for anywhere from 5 to 20, 25 years. So, um, Anyway, um, we're going to look around, talk to a couple of vendors, and then we will see what's going on in the rest of the town. It's Brenda Malone. My family and I have been coming over to Bell Buckle for about 20 years. This RC Move Pie draws people from all over the country. Um, it's a small one-day event, but you get to meet a lot of people, you get to share new ideas of different things of, of what's going on in the community and uh, you enjoy a bell buckle. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Minatra and we are here today at the lovely historical bell buckle in Middle Tennessee and we're at the Moon Pie, uh, RC Cola Moon Pie Festival and this is just a great little family event. You can come out to Bell Buckle, lots of things to see and do. We have another one in October uh, that is a really great two-day event on a Saturday and a Sunday and please come out and visit historical Bell Buckle. My name is Sherry Baltimore, and I work at Hilltop Antiques. I'm Jerry Brothers. I also work at Hilltop. And this is the coolest place going. You'll never find another one like it in Tennessee, anywhere that I know of. <laughs> and why should people come to Balbacol? Because it's like a, a laid-back, easy-going little town, and everybody here is very friendly and very welcoming. And in our shop here, we've got just a little bit of everything. We've got the old antiques, we've got some of the newer things, we have clothes, uh, all kinds of things. So everybody needs to come by and see us. All right. Thank you, ladies. Mm -hmm. The cafe, you better go in there hungry because you'll be crawling out after you eat <laughs> to walk it, off, walk it off. Okay. It is good home country cooking at its best. All right, I'll make it a point to go there. <laughs>
I'm Maggie Vaughn, Port Lord, Tennessee. I've lived in Bell Buckle since 1982. Gave up a career to move here and write. People need to come to Bell Buckle because you know what? Small towns are disappearing and they're disappearing fast. And we have everything here you'd want and we always laugh and say nothing you need. But we've got antique stores and the cafe and a tea room and a coffee shop. We've got everything. So come on down, we're friendly. And uh, say hello to us and come see me at my house. A lot of people pass through my house. And uh, you're welcome here anytime. Just bring your purse. <laughs>